Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. I can't hear that kind of hallelujah. I said everybody praise the Lord. I heard as headquarters, Lagos, hallelujah. Do it better. Everybody praise the Lord. Father, we thank you tonight and bless your name. Great God, good God, gracious God, glorious God. We're asking tonight, you touch everyone. The gift that Emmanuel has brought, distribute to everyone. And nobody will live here empty handed in Jesus' name. Salvation, your gift. Healing, your gift. Deliverance, your gift. And every other thing you need, the Lord supply and meet all your needs even tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. He has blessed you already. And you see the manifestation of the blessing uh, even tonight in Jesus' name. You can sit down in the blessing of God. We're coming to Matthew chapter 1. And we're reading from verse 21. Matthew chapter 1. And we're looking at verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name, tell me, Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. We're told in verse 22. It says, Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled. The coming of Christ was a fulfillment. And when he comes into your life, there will be a fulfillment in your life in Jesus' name. Fulfillment of the promised salvation. Amen. Fulfillment of the promised healing, give me a good amen. amen. And fulfillment of signs, wonders, and miracles in your life, in Jesus' name. Amen. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, look at verse 23, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be a child, and shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Shout that. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. With being interpreted is God with us. Tonight, we're talking about Emmanuel, the mountain moving God. Emmanuel, the mountain moving God. Mark chapter 11 i read from verse 22 and jesus answering says unto them unto them not unto, unto one person unto them and unto us everyone it says have faith in god the god that moves mountain verse 23 it says for verily i say unto you that whosoever praise the lord is for the whosoever is for you is for me is for the brother nearby there for the sister nearby there for everyone whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart the head may be wondering and the feeling may be wondering and all circumstances around may be wondering maybe maybe not just your heart in the depth of your heart you know that you know that god is a mountain moving god and that we come to present emmanuel the mountain moving god and you do not doubt that in your heart but shall believe in the heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have 
whatsoever he says i will have whatsoever i say as you link up with emmanuel as you look as you uh, who up with his with Emmanuel as you connect with Emmanuel and become he becomes your savior, he becomes your Lord, he lives in you and you live for him. It says whatsoever you say, you say good things about yourself. You say the promises of God, you claim the promises of God, and whatsoever you say will come to pass. Emmanuel, the mountain moving God. There are three things we're looking at before we pray tonight. Number one, we're looking at the mountain of iniquity repented of. Mountain of iniquity, that's where we start. You're going to climb a ladder. Your first, the start at the first rung of the ladder, ladder. And the first rung of the ladder for you to have the salvation. For you to have uh, the healing and for you to have uh, the deliverance, the redemption, the mountain of iniquity repented of. Number two, the mountain of infirmity relieved. It takes all your infirmity, all your affliction, everything that oppresses your life like a mountain when the mountain of a the load of a mountain rests upon somebody you cannot stand up she cannot stand up there's pressure there's plague there's suffering number two the mountain of infirmity relieved number three the mountain of impossibility removed mountain removed in your life removed in your family removed the moment you say i recognize this mountain and i want it gone it will go look at number one there number one is the mountain of iniquity repented of when you understand i don't have to belabor the point again all i've seen and come short of the glory of god in fact the psalmists he describes the sin the iniquity how many they are it tells us in psalm 40 verse 12 psalm 40 verse 12 for it said innumerable evil have compassed me about mine iniquities have taken hold upon me so that i am not able to look up they are more than the ears of mine head therefore my heart faileth me the iniquities will have the sins we have committed, the evil we have dipped our hands into, and the rebellion that we have dipped our heart to, there are so many. And if you say, I'll repent of them, and then I will make reformation by myself, I will change myself. How many are you going to change? Because they're so innumerable. There's so many, there are more than the ears of your head. And because there are so many, I'm turning over a new leaf on this side. I'll not do that again. And then I'm turning over a new leaf on that other side. I'll, I'll not do that again. You cannot empty the ocean by drops of water. Take a drop take another drop take another drop you cannot empty the ocean and our sins are like that our iniquities are like that the one of the past the one of the present the small ones the big ones the daily ones the common one there's so many that it takes god by his love by his forgiving grace to come into our lives and then to empty the ocean he dried the red sea 
at the point of Joserod pointing to that Red Sea. If uh, Moses were to command the people, all of you take a cup, take a cup, a glass in your hand, empty, 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 empty. They would, you know, they would not finish emptying until Pharaoh and the army will meet them there until the day of judgment will come. You cannot in your strength, you cannot in your power remove all those iniquities. Look at that verse again. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. It takes the grace of God. It takes the love of God. It takes the goodness of God. That's why it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever, whosoever believes in him will not perish thank god you will not perish thank god i will not perish say it for yourself thank god i will not perish how because i have the power because i can remove the ocean of sin and the ocean of iniquity and empty them empty the ocean one by one the lies told the deception manifested the stealing manifested the adultery the fornication the anger the fighting the rebellion and you know one by one by myself no you cannot the leopard cannot change the color and the stripes of his skin but because god who does not want us to perish he knows that what we have is a mountain of iniquity and it comes as we repent of them as we turn away from them we turn our back against that mountain of iniquity salvation comes to who I said forgiveness comes to who will come tonight in Jesus name but we'll just turn away from them we're looking at second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 in second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us word is long suffering to you word is long suffering to you the, the, the sins are mounting the sins are multiplying until they become in number like the heirs of your head innumerable uncountable very deep and very high and it will bring judgment and yet god it does not strike us dead the moment you will tell a lie <laughs> you know some people you see is there god there if god is there let him strike me dead god is long suffering he has all eternity to lay the judgment and to lay the punishment on that foolish individual is God there let him strike me dead no you have only one day you have only one week you have only one month he has all eternity to fulfill his will but at this time he is long suffering to you what to me what and to us what not willing that any should perish even the people who want to perish god is not willing that any should perish even the people that get themselves drunk and they get behind the wheel and in their drunken situation they they're driving recklessly they want to perish but he doesn't want anyone to perish even the people that are doing dangerous business dangerous business that they can be shot and they can die instantaneously and it's like they don't care for life but god cares for their lives even people that are selling themselves into the hands of this of the devil of satan and they say well if uh, you know going to satan will kill me and destroy me and send me to hell here i am if heaven is going to fall let it fall even those people that gamble with their lives even those people that have 
mountains of iniquity upon their lives god is not willing that any shall perish but that all shall come to repentance number one the mountain of iniquity repented of as you repent tonight and you are sincere and you understand you cannot empty the ocean of your iniquity and the ocean of your sin by one by one one by one but the love of god can do that at a single pronouncement neither do i condemn you go and sin no more your sins which are many are forgiven and when he looks at you and you say i'm sorry i don't want to perish this mountain of iniquity that is heavy on my life heavy on my conscience i want it removed the lord will do it tonight he will do it in every life in jesus name look at point number two here point number two here the mountain of infirmity relieved we carry sicknesses and sometimes you, you just know i am unwell i am sick sometimes you cannot even put your finger on what the unwellness the sickness the pain the thing is you just know you're not healthy and yet as we come and we present that mountain of infirmity before the lord it will relieve us of the mountain of infirmity in jesus name sickness will go you know somebody last night the fellow could see very well she wakes up this morning and she rubs her face she can't see she didn't know that that thing had been coming gradually somebody was hearing very well last week and this week now you talk what did you say you shout what are you telling me is now death sometimes there are people you wake up in the morning you're healed and hearty so you think and then you are going through in the day and as you are going to uh, you know to outside the house all of a sudden he slumps all of a sudden he cannot use his limbs all those infirmities are there and uh, they're like the air we breathe breathe in breathe out and we're breathing in all that infirmity the air the pollution in the air and the waves the waves of either 5g or 4g or whatever and the waves of the of the things we use now the modern gadget everything bringing infirmity and sickness the brain or the millions millions even trillions of cells there and the connections and uh, some of the connections are breaking and there are graphs and uh, sometimes you want to recall remember something you cannot even remember yesterday you could still remember that but life is ebbing away because we have mountains of infirmity and tonight known infirmity god will take away yeah. unknown infirmity god will take away the one that is resident there following the man following the woman every day everything will be taken away in jesus name yeah. and sometimes we're even born of some of them but we don't realize it's there in the genes it's there in the system and then we appear to be all right and we're moving here and there all of a sudden in our teenage years we discover something a brain a mind is blocked a body is weak and we walk a little we cannot walk we stand and we cannot stand we cannot cope then we go to the people that have studied all the effects and functions of the body and as they examine all through the machine and through the x-ray and everything who oh, they say they think just showed up now but it's been there all the time from the time of conception 
and even when this uh, person was born it's been there what are we going to do now they say there is no kill but he'll give you pills to be controlling it but today you are not going to have any pill to control or to suppress the thing to be there it will be removed in jesus name Look at Luke chapter 13, and I'm reading from verse 11. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. Think about that. A spirit of infirmity. And you know, those pills and tablets cannot drive away the spirit of infirmity you understand all those supplements cannot drive away yes so can use your supplements <laughs> what else do you have but all those supplements will not affect a spirit the spirit does not respond to the things we do in the natural and to the care we take in the natural but Emmanuel when Emmanuel comes in your life, that spirit will say, I will go. I'm going now. And tonight, it will go in Jesus' name. He said, this woman had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. You see, spirits don't easily give up their residence. They don't easily give up the house where they have been dwelling first year second year third year and the woman was so bent down it says she was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself look at verse 12 in verse 12 when jesus saw her praise the lord emmanuel god with us he has seen you there tonight the mountain that have been there long standing the lord has seen you tonight i just i'm just curious i know the lord has seen you i too i want to see you where are you yes i see you now you'll get it tonight in jesus name it says when jesus saw her he called her to him look at the woman the woman was so bent down could not even see that jesus was there but jesus called her the woman they has already accepted spirit of infirmity i don't know whether she even understood it was a spirit of infirmity and she didn't fast already she had enough problem she didn't want to add hunger to the problem she had she didn't fast she couldn't fast she couldn't have any help from the priest in the synagogue but where you have lost help and hope tonight you have hope you have help jesus said unto the woman thou art loosed from thine infirmity amen look at this when engineers want to construct a road and they want to go through a tunnel and they want to create pathway in that mountain you know how they dig you know how they excavate and it takes months some will take years what would have taken months or taken years a moment a minute it is done in your life tonight what men would have taken months and years of pills of examination come back come back what would have taken years tonight in a moment of time spirit of infirmity will leave your body and you know when they put that tunnel in the you know through the mountain they have to do maintenance and every time maintenance and sometimes they have to close that lane through the tunnel and close that other lane and sometimes they have to walk deep into the night because of keeping that passage they have opened in the rock 
for Jesus Christ. Once he does it now, maintenance continues automatically. No part of your life will be blocked. No part will be stopped. Emmanuel, if you knew Emmanuel and what he can do and what he has come to do, you will rejoice because all the mountains of infirmity and of sickness in your life, everything tonight they go. From my life tonight they go. From my life. From my body tonight they live in jesus name woman thou art loosed from thine infirmity man you're loosed from thine infirmity but but you know you know habit habit sometimes very strong you have not been using that leg for a long time and now jesus comes to you and he said you are loosed because you have not been using the leg you don't you just sit down there but if you will stand up that leg will carry you sometimes you have not been reading for a long time because you have the bible you have the book you cannot read why your eyes are dim and when you look at the page you're seeing two uh, pictures of the writing overlapping each other and when it says your eyes are open are they open then because of habit you know that when i open that book i will see double and the letters will be overlapping each other and therefore you don't try but when it says brother sister boy girl anyone you're loose from your infirmity tonight it will go no seer drums will be created and the blind eyes will open and see and you understand lagos is a special recipient of miracles and crusades in lagos are different crusades in lagos they are kind of high higher than any other crusade you have anywhere and the lord has made us the head and not the tail and the crusades in lagos the head and not the tail and the gck in lagos tell me the head and not the tail since we started crusades in lagos i remember through Leary at the stadium we came there and then people were gathered and that night we were praying for the sick and the lame and it was this boy there one leg of good uh, bone and the other leg rubber without any bone flesh and the boy will take uh, one stick and wind that uh, fleshly leg around the stick and then be hopping around and then uh, we are talking about Jesus and who are we talking about today Jesus and while we were praying we had not even finished we had not said the final amen but because Lagos is always special and Lagos does not wait for final amen. While we were still praying, God created bone into that leg. And the boy jumped up. And the mother, hysterical, surprised. And she ran after the boy. They threw the stick away. We we're hearing shouting and shouting before the final amen. And you know, and I was the one preaching there. I've always been in Lagos from the beginning of deeper life. And I'm still here for you. I said, I'm still here for you. I was still praying. I was still praying and I had the shout. Let me tell you, 
I open my eyes. I was still praying. I open what are they doing there? And I saw that mother and I saw that child. And quickly I rounded up the prayer and I said, In Jesus' name, we pray. And Lagos shouted, Amen. And then we began to give testimony. And the mother came joyful, happy, cheerful. Who will not be happy? You too, you'll be happy. And tonight, if you never smiled, you will smile. If you never laughed, you will laugh. The Lord has come to deliver you. And those online when power comes at the headquarters it flows everywhere it will flow to you it will flow to everyone and so the mountain of infirmity will be relieved even tonight i said tonight look at verse 13 and in verse 13 and he laid his hands on her and she immediately somebody shout immediately yeah. say that again yeah. that's how your miracle will come tonight because jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever whoever you are you're a member of the church you're a minister in the church or you are somebody invited you you came to miracle ground and when you step in this place you carry miracle back home healing back home immediately she was made straight and glorified god it has come to your turn number one the mountain of iniquity all that removed all that you repent of number two is the mountain of infirmity and that one you are relieved of every sickness every infirmity tonight in jesus name i come to number three here number three we're looking at the mountain of impossibility removed impossibility removed you know in my life i used to think that some things were impossible and then i came to christ and everything turned around and you too it may be your thought this one impossible that one impossible others may achieve that but who am i i cannot and others may have that who am i i can maybe you could not before you met Christ but now we are here to celebrate Emmanuel and when you join in with a happy heart with a glad heart and you say I too I come to celebrate Emmanuel and I hand over my life I hand over everything of God I put my life totally without reservation and I put myself in Christ infirmity impossibility will vanish away yeah. from your life yeah. what are you tonight it will happen yeah. look at mark chapter 9 i'm reading from verse 21 mark chapter 9 we're reading from verse 21 and he asked his father how long is it ago since this came unto him and he said of a child the spirit was controlling this boy and look at how wicked the evil spirit is when there's no water when there's no pond when there is no um, no pool of water that spirit will keep quiet where there is no fire burning that spirit will keep quiet and once that child gets near pool of water the spirit will begin to agitate and make him fall into that river into that pool so that if nobody was there to rescue that child 
the child would have drowned and died. And then when they bring him out, everything will be normal. Once there's no fire, once there's no water, once there's no river. And at the time when he gets near fire, the spirit will agitate again and throw him into the fire to burn him up. That's how wicked the evil spirits were, are. And it's an impossibility in the life of that child, in the family of that child. And when Jesus asked that since when has this problem, an impossibility in your family, since when did it come? He said, of a child. Look at verse 22. In verse 22, and of times... It has cast him into the fire. We have to pull him away from the fire. And there are scars of fire of burn in his body. And then it says, another time, into the waters, plural, into the waters, and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything because the father now saw that there's an impossibility on that child there's an impossibility in the family there's an impossibility in his life and i was crying every day is tormented every day but all those things finally now you are going to be set free and it says if thou canst do anything now he was measuring the strength of Christ with the length of the problem of the child and he said if you can do anything well you need to understand Emmanuel will do everything yeah. have compassion on us and help us look at verse 23 Jesus turned it back to him Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe no money if thou canst believe no offering if thou canst believe no religion if thou canst believe as you come and all your hope all your expectation all your trust is on Emmanuel tonight you are free satan cannot hinder this one you are free yeah. your past bad life cannot stop this one you are free yeah. forgiveness available tonight if thou canst believe healing available tonight if thou canst believe your deliverance guaranteed tonight if thou canst believe Lord I believe Lord I believe one iniquity will be forgiven two the infirmity will also be taken away and impossibility will be rendered possible Jesus says unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him, to her, to you that believe. To you because you believe. Tonight is your night. Salvation. Tonight is your night. Healing. Tonight is your night. Miracle. I believe. I believe. It's bowed and eyes closed. Salvation comes now. Iniquity taken away now. Iniquity. So many, like the heirs of the hedge, everything will vanish away now. The moment you believe, I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, God with us. And he has come to relieve me of my sins of my iniquity of my transgression as bowed and eyes closed this immediate forgiveness available for you now is of that hand wherever you are god bless you god bless you god bless you it's of that hand right 
left at the back anywhere you'll be free from guilt you'll be free from condemnation you'll be free from all the punishment that should have come upon your life because of the innumerable sins and transgressions and iniquities and all those sins as numerous at the air of your head that you cannot be removing one by one by one that will take you and eternity to do that and you don't have eternity to live here on earth or have gone to hell before you're able to remove everything one by one yourself but christ jesus emmanuel instantaneous forgiveness tonight instantaneous salvation tonight amen as you raise up that hand stand up and say here am i jesus i'm here what I could not do for myself, you are going to do for me. And you are going to take away all my sins at one atonement. Stand up, stand up. Online, the same thing. Mercy is coming to you today. Forgiveness is coming to you today. Salvation coming to you today. Online, over the radio, over the television. The Lord does not want you to perish. And when you agree with the Lord, I will not perish, then you will not perish. As we're standing, I'm going to pray with you. When no God cannot fail, Christ will not fail. And He brings that salvation to you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for calling everyone and everyone that comes now repenting, turning away from their sin. Although they do not have the innate power to rescue themselves, manifest your power, forgive them in Jesus' name. They couldn't have succeeded. They were trying to remove the sins one drop at a time there's so many nobody can do that but you come and the whole ocean and the whole sea the innumerable sins and iniquities at one go you remove everything lord speak peace to every heart right now assurance to every heart right now forgiveness to every heart right now lord grant them the merciful salvation and the forgiveness instantaneously now thank you lord it is done they are forgiven it is done they are saved it is done the joy of salvation comes to their hearts now saved and lord i pray you grant them the grace to remain saved and everybody said amen yeah. thank you lord because i know you have answered in jesus name we pray god bless you your amen as a firm ditch all those standing all those who ask for the salvation you are saved now in Jesus' name. Our counselors, thank God I saw you going there. You are there at the point of duty. The Lord bless you for the good thing you are doing. Our counselors are there now. And they will get in touch with everyone who raised their hands and everyone uh, who is standing up. And if you are still sitting, but uh, you keyed into that prayer, you can stand up to you. Our counselors will attend to you. And our moderating pastor tonight will take over now and settle this part. Then I will come back in possibility abilities will be possible tonight in every life make sure you put down your names coming unto Christ is the greatest decision you can ever make and so we'd like to help you take the uh, slips from the counselors and make sure you fill it correctly in block letters so that we can be of help for you 
so that you can grow in the grace of God. Don't miss this opportunity. Make sure that you put down your name. Make it legible. Make it clear. For those who are watching online and you gave your life to Jesus, you also have an opportunity to get help. And so you see the link scrolling through the screen right now. Uh, gckhq.org slash connect. Make sure you click on that uh, link and put in your information there. It will help us to help you to grow in your new found faith. And to help you in your walk with Christ. And so please, all uh, those who have given their lives to Christ... Make sure you put down your name. All our workers who are right there, please join the counselors so that this will be as fast as possible. If you're listening to us through the radio or through the television, and you just gave your life to Christ, you can as well send your name and your phone number and your location address via SMS or via WhatsApp. So this number I'm going to call now, plus 234-915-444-9263, plus 234-915-444-9263. So if you're watching, if you give your life to Christ and you're watching on TV or uh, listening on radio, you can send your name, phone number, and your location address uh, to that uh, number, either as SMS or via WhatsApp. That will help us to get in touch with you and to help you to grow in this newfound faith. Our counselors, please, let's go to the corners, to the back, and make sure that every convert is captured. And for those of you who have given your lives to Christ, for those in the Alpha location, there will be a launch hour meeting tomorrow by 2 p.m. By 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is the time in all one. For those who gave their lives to Christ during this prayer, make sure you come together at Hall 1 by 2 p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you put down your name. A counselor's less... Do it quickly. And all counselors, please remember to uh, give back the field forms to the supervisors before you leave. For those of us who are waiting, it is the moment for you to begin to connect your hearts to God and begin to identify those things that you want God to do for you tonight. Because if you do not go in expectation, you may not receive. And so begin to connect your mind and your heart to God in expectation of that specific thing or those specific things that you want God to do in your life tonight. I am very confident that as the man of God is going to come and declare the word of faith tonight, your problem, your difficulty will not remain there. And so use this period to connect with God, to let God know that thing that you are expecting him to do for you tonight. Remember, the gifts are here. As long as you connect in faith, you will not live here the same in the name of Jesus. Counselors, please. Please let me know when you're done. Those who are counseling, make sure you return the field forms to supervisors once you're done. 
the, the hour is here. The time when your mountains will be rolled away. You want to rise up as a man of God comes forth and declares the word of faith to move that mountain in your life tonight. Amen. Amen. Remember, you've come to a special place at a special time and it'll meet your special need. Amen. You know, all these people that met Emmanuel, Jesus, the mountain mover, the moment he touched them, spoke to them, declared to them they were made whole, that same moment they were made whole. And he has not changed. And we have witnessed here in Lagos on this ground. And also on the other side at the DLCC. We have witnessed miracles, healings of every shape, of every type. What's happening to you now? Happen to other people? And the same Jesus, the same name, healed them. You are the next on the line. The next to give testimony. The next to rejoice. No impossibility, no infirmity will remain. And the people of Israel rejoiced around Jericho walls before the Jericho walls fell down. I too now am rejoicing on your behalf. I'm happy that you are here. And when you hear the final amen, when they gave the final shout, the walls fell down. And when we hear our own final shout of amen, all the walls in your life, hindering you, hindering your health, everything will fall down. Praise the Lord, you are healed. Praise the Lord, you are delivered. Lay one hand where you have the challenge, where you have the problem, and raise up the other hand. And when we mention Jesus, Emmanuel, immediately, that thing has to vanish away. The Lord bless and confirm your amen. amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we well, thank you for such a happy day, glorious day, joyful day. We're asking, Lord, that tonight everyone who has been suffering from any kind of sickness or infirmity, they'll be healed and delivered in Jesus' name. It's not a will that anyone will keep on suffering from any form of sickness. And Christ bore the stripes so that all our sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, everything will vanish away. Tonight for your people is a night of fulfillment, night of miracle, night of signs and wonders. Lord, I pray, sign forth your power, heal your people in Jesus' name. That spirit of lunacy, insanity, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That spirit of infirmity that makes you weak, the waist cannot bear your weight, and your joints are cracking and painful, whatever infirmity any spirit has brought upon your life, you are loose in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deafness, you are loosed. Yeah. Dumbness, you are free. Yeah. Blindness, you are free. Yeah. 
those dumb ears begin to hear now in Jesus name and the dumb tongues speak out in Jesus name and blind eyes dim eyes failing sight recover your sight in Jesus name swelling in your body fibroid at command be removed in Jesus name and yeah be healed in Jesus name and you just find swelling uh, on the side of the thigh on the side and the buttocks and you know different parts a uh, bumps there and um, swelling there I command every form of swelling in that body be removed in Jesus name elephantiasis in the legs I pray that that balloon will be deflated right now and all the swelling vanish away in Jesus name long-standing sickness you were born with that it's been in you know the family hereditary right now even that condition in which you are born which is not comfortable and which is not healthy you are healed in Jesus name I pray Lord for those who are mean to the helpers scientific medical helpers and yet they have been told that cancer has come to a stage that they cannot deal with anymore. Emmanuel will deal with that tonight. <laughs> cancer, you will not take that life. Yeah. And now with the anointing of the Lord in the name of Jesus, cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Also, once that hunger comes, you'll be dizzy. It will be like the world around you is turning, and you feel you're falling down because of that deep pain of that ulcer. Tonight you are healed. But I pray that your healing balm, healing virtue will pass through all the parts of the body internal be healed of the ulcer in Jesus name yeah. HIV AIDS or venereal disease or any other disease related with that the Lord has mercy upon you tonight yeah. Lord I pray miracle of mercy yeah. healing of mercy grant unto them HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus name paralysis even if you've been like that for a long time because of polio because of lameness because of one leg shorter than the other the power of the Lord comes upon you now rise up and walk face in Christ heals you tonight rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord everywhere now miracle everywhere healing everywhere deliverance everywhere the celebration of healing of deliverance of miracles everywhere celebration of signs and wonders confirmation in every life thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name we pray it is done it is done infirmity gone impossibility gone now you can rejoice in your miracle let the orchestra come quickly orchestra come quickly you celebrate what the lord has done get out of that wheelchair drop those crutches and 
you know, look, test the people who are blind and the people deaf, dumb before what they could not do. Now they can do.